I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction. Here with your feeder flash for Tuesday, July the 16th, where it's fixing to get hot, guys. Uh, we haven't had a whole lot of really bad heat other than the places that normally get it, like South Texas and, and down on the coast and the southeast and places like that. But up through the Midwest and the Corn Belt, all through the plains and areas, uh, we haven't had any real intense heat yet this summer. Uh, I know we've had a lot of flooding, we've had uh, this and that, we've had dry spots, but uh, it's, it's about to get really hot. And, uh, and cattle are going to suffer a little bit in the feedlot. Uh, a lot of them haven't had this kind of heat on them uh, in their lives yet. So uh, they're going to be uh, struggling quite a bit. And uh, at the same time, it's probably going to help your corn and, and bean crop because a lot of that is shorter term uh, uh, varieties that they've got in there. They need some intense heat to really uh, make that crop pop and, and it's not going to pop the corn but it might pop the crop on the corn so we'll see how that goes look at the board on Monday August live cattle futures up just two cents and really your cattle futures didn't do anything but up two cents at 108.50 which is a long ways behind where they traded fat cattle last week but uh, October was down 20 cents at 109.77 August feeder cattle up a nickel at 141.65. September also up a nickel at 142.60. Now I talked about uh, how it's going to improve your your crop here to get some really hot weather on it for for a while here this week, uh, middle part to, through the weekend. But uh, of course that's that's hard on your crop markets. So the grains were down. December corn down 12 and a quarter cents. November beans down 11 and a half. You weighted average on last week's fat cattle trade on a pretty decent movement of 87,000 head uh, compared to 72,000 uh, the previous week and just 50,400 head the same week a year ago, but they were coming off kind of a double week trade there. So uh, that's the reason that they had such a lighter volume there a year ago uh, this past week. But look at the weighted average prices, your live steers and heifers uh, sold in the five area feeding region negotiated from 106 all the way up to 117 but mostly 111 to 116 your weighted average on live steers was 113.37 that was up two dollars and 13 cents from the previous week so we haven't seen a big gain like that in quite a while dress steers and heifers ranged in price from 180 to 188 in the five area feeding region mostly from 180 to 185 with your weighted average on dress steers at 182.87 that was up almost three dollars from the previous week but up two dollars and 78 cents on the weighted average compared to the previous week's weighted average nationwide sold 103,800 head negotiated cash that's a that's a fairly healthy uh, negotiated volume we'd like to see that kind of volume just in your five area feeding region but uh, we just don't get it very often but out of that hundred and three thousand eight hundred head uh, that sold negotiated across the nation only 12 percent of those was for the 15 to 30 day delivery and and the previous week it was only five percent of total volume that sold for 15 to 30 day delivery so these packers are 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 kind of getting behind and they're not getting a lot of of uh, out front purchases done uh, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to set up the market too much and and they're kind of over their skis right now and, and uh, they're going to be sucking wind uh, for the next several weeks here of uh, trying to get any of their market position back as it looks like your cattle feeders are kind of in the driving seat right now because of the of the short market ready uh, supplies in the northern plains due to the big flooding and everything that was happening when those cattle would have been put on feed. But uh, your feeders say that this year coming in already, we've got a bigger show list. Uh, if you take any stock into that uh, reported show list early in the week, I don't take a whole lot of stock in it. But uh, the, we say that we've got about 7,000 head more uh, on, your, uh, on your show list. But your feeders say that they want $2 more right now because uh, the Packers are already smelling around. They probably, some of them don't have enough cattle to make it through the end of the week. But 
likely your cattle feeders would sell some cattle at steady some of those cattle has been on their show list or they want again been getting rid of for a while because of this extreme heat those cattle will melt on you guys uh, like I said they haven't had heat like that yet those cattle that are really heavy and ready to go to market uh, those are the ones that are going to suffer the worst so we'll see how guys handle this we're going to have some uh, uh, some basis jumpers again uh, because we're we've got this cash market well out front of your spot uh, futures market and then also uh, there would be some guys that would like to get rid of some of those big heavy cattle before they start shrinking down too much in this heat let's talk about your feeder cattle markets uh, for Monday your real-time index on cattle market central uh, late in the day on Monday sitting at 141.61 based on an 800 pound steer up through the middle 12 states uh, of the United States there that's up 27 cents compared to the end of last week uh, you look at your CME cash feeder cattle index uh, the the last reported was for Friday it was sitting at 140.46 uh, down uh, quite a bit there from Thursday at 141.08 and you think gosh these cattle just keep bringing more money and we're we're dropping some cheaper prices off the other end on that seven day moving average but you remember Friday is whenever they dump all those uh, directs into that index and uh, the corporates pretty much uh, control that they dump a lot of of uh, cheaper direct cattle in that index and and uh, very few if any mostly none are ever verified on there but let's look at your uh, your big sales on Monday Oklahoma National Stockyards in Oklahoma City 8200 head there a uh, good sale and they caught up with those middle to late week sales last week because they were running a little bit behind because they didn't get that big uh, uh, week ago Tuesday week ago today uh, jump in your in your uh, futures market that uh, your middle of the week sales really enjoyed and got the boost out of but you look at your feeders in Oklahoma City uh, steers and heifers steady to four bucks higher spots as much as six bucks higher so that fully catches them up because they were a little higher uh, a week ago your calves were not well tested uh, look at Joplin 5100 head there feeders there steady to five bucks higher spots as much as ten bucks higher uh, especially on your eight weight steers so now they've fully caught up uh, talk to uh, Steve Kenny is a customer there and a, a friend of mine uh, down in that area sells his cattle at Joplin he was pretty tickled with what his steers brought uh, you look at this picture of him that he sent me uh, I wanted him to get me one in the ring but uh, there was a lot going on he probably had his grandson there on his knee and and uh, having a hard time managing everything but this uh, picture here was uh, on the farm before he shipped those cattle into Joplin but they went through the ring and I found them here on Cattle Market Central 69 head of 827 pound steers there at 144.75 that's an awful good market there uh, you go up into the, the north uh, up in the midwest and the northern plains and look at some prices up there Russell Iowa had an awful good sale there on Monday uh, you didn't have a big sale a week ago so compared to two weeks ago the calves were four to eight dollars higher the feeders ten to twelve bucks higher so they're catching up everywhere look at this individual quote I pulled off cattle market central uh, on your national uh, beef wire you can see all these come through but 65 head of 803 pound steers and Russell I will bring 148.50 and then also I pulled some individual quotes out of Tri-State Livestock in McCook, Nebraska. We haven't been talking about any calves for a while because we haven't seen too many of them sell. But uh, here's some springborn calves, fresh calves, new crops right there in McCook. 92 head of 502 pound steer calves bring $195. That sounds awful good. And then look what some big yearling steers will bring out in western Nebraska. 60 head of 920 pound steers bring 149.85. That's your feeder flash for Tuesday.